Good day, good day. Once again, we're back together. Well, let's look at the exercise. We are continuing on general trigonometry for grade 11. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you are part of the family. Right. So I'm going to do these exercises with you. However, what I do ask you is that um, if you haven't watched the first video uh, on this section, please go back and just watch that video so that you'd know how to go about answering these questions. Right. And we are going to try and do these together. And I want you to try as best as possible to also, you know, just try them on your own. So let's go through the first exercise. I'm going to take you through it. But um, you are welcome to pause and start answering the questions on your own first and then look at my solutions thereafter. Right. So we've got negative sine theta equal to four. So we've got minus five, uh, right, rather, uh, this is negative five sine of theta. That's equal to four. But they've also told us, okay, uh, again, we need to just switch this guy off. All right. So they've also told us in this case that theta is an element of uh, 90 to 270. So we said the first thing, is that we're supposed to isolate the trig ratio. So we've got, if we divide by negative 5 on both sides, we've got sine theta. Let me just write it nicely. We've got the sine of theta equal to negative 4 over 5. Now we remember that sine is y over r. Right, so if you don't get this, uh, please just go back to our previous video. Please, you will see why we say we say that. So now, I want to find out. Let's go to our Cartesian plane. So we're going to use our tick method, right? So firstly, where is sine negative? So we remember our cast diagram, right? And our cast diagram simply tells us all of them are positive in the first quadrant. Sine is positive in the second quadrant, okay? Only sine and its uh, inverse, in this case, which is cosec, right? Now, where is sine negative? So sine would be negative in the third quadrant as well as in the fourth quadrant. Now, they gave us a restriction. They said that theta must be an element. So they gave us a restriction that we are dealing here with an angle that is between 90 and 270. So if we look at that, okay, I'm going to use a different color. So an angle between 90 and 270. So in this case, it must be between the, the second as well as the third quadrant. Where we've got two ticks, that's where we're going to draw our triangle. So this means that we've got our triangle right here. Now, ladies and gents, let's try and find out, okay, who's who in the zoo. So we know that this is y, so y is negative 4, okay, and our r value is 5. Now, we need to find out what the x value is. So we're going to use our Pythagorean theorem. So x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. But because we're looking for x, in this case, we're going to say this is r squared minus y squared. So our r is 5 squared minus negative 4 all squared, right? So this is going to give us 25 minus 16, right? And that gives us 9, okay? But we know that x would be plus minus the square root of 9, and as a result, that would be plus minus 3. However, we need to choose a sign. But because we're in the second, um, or rather in the, um, in the third quadrant, we know x is negative there. So which means that x will be equal to negative 3. Now, they had said to us, now please I want you to note, they said, firstly, we need to find the value, right? So they said, determine the value of, We've got 5 cos theta minus 3 tan theta. Okay, so let's find that out. Okay, that's 5 
cos theta minus 3, the 10 of theta. So we know that cos is x over r and y is y, I mean 10 rather, is y over x. Okay, so this would be 5 into our x value, right? We just found it is negative 3 and our r is 5 minus 3 to y. Our y value, remember, was negative 4. That's negative 4 divided by x. x is negative 3. Right, so ladies and gents, very important to deal with our algebra here. Right, so we've got 5 multiplied by negative 3 over 5. So the 5 and the uh, 3 over 5 cancel. Remember, that is 5 over 1. So those cancel out. I'm left with negative 3. Right, so now I've got a negative divided by negative, which would give me a positive, right? But you'll notice the 3 and the 3 also cancel out. So I'm left with negative 3 multiplied, and I want you to, uh, uh, rather, in fact, uh, I'm, I almost made a mistake there. So the 3s have cancelled. So I've got negative 1 multiplied by that 4, so that would give me negative 4, okay? Right, so now, negative 3 minus 4, that would give me negative 7. All right, please confirm if you do get the same thing, right? That is how we will evaluate that. Now, if we were to look at number 3 of A, right? So they said to us, evaluate 4 over sine theta minus 3 over cos theta. So, that's 4 over sine theta minus 3 over cos of theta. So all we need to do here is just to work with just the fractions, right? But everything else uh, we are going to essentially just substitute. So remember that sine is y over r. So this would be divided by, okay, um, our y value. That's negative 4. r is 5. So that's negative 4 over 5 minus 3 into cos is x over r, so that's negative 3 over 5. Okay, right, so let's find out what our answer eventually becomes to be. Right, now remember, when I'm dealing with fractions, I can express the top, okay, the numerator, as 4 over 1. This is divided by negative 4 over 5, okay? Minus, I've got 3. Again, I can express it as 3 over 1, that 3 there. This is divided by negative 3 over 5. Now, remember, I can change division to multiplication. So that will be 4 over 1 multiplied by, remember, we've got now, negative, but I am going to invert the other fraction. That is going to be negative 5 over 4. And this is subtracted to, that's 3 over 1. That's multiplied by, so this would be 5, okay, or rather negative 5 over 3, right? So um, I've got multiplication. That's what we do first before subtracting there. So the 4 cancels with the 4. I am left with negative 5 over 1, which is negative 5. Okay, this is minus. The 3 cancels there. And I've got minus a negative 5. Okay, so in this case, I've got negative 5 plus 5. And our final answer would simply be 0. All right, ladies and gents. I am going to leave that there, right? We are going to continue with the rest uh, in the next video. I want you to attempt uh, B, okay? Try it on your own and see what you will actually come out with in your next, um, uh, uh, you know, in your attempt and look at the next video if you are, you know, you feel slightly confused or you want to see the solution to that. For now, let's see each other next time.
Shop, shop.